the counter ID action plan captures the lessons learned but also suggests what type of technologies and what type of procedures need to be uh, developed and mainstreamed in the Alliance and therefore the relationship in NATO that is organised through the Defence Against Terrorism programme of work between the industrial side, the scientific community coming up with solutions like you know, fancier jammers or better detection uh, methods, that has to be made compatible with the military side because ultimately these things have to be usable on the ground in very difficult environments such as Afghanistan. In a global context, airport security is a primary concern because it can range from the terrorist to just an individual who who uh, loses control on an aircraft. Uh, so there's a, a wide range of threats and possibilities that could occur. So proper screening on the on the front end to make sure that everybody on board has been thoroughly searched and screened, as I think is the paramount concern for everybody. The point of this experiment is that we we want to show. Uh, um, uh, a clear picture. It's not necessary to highlight that technology can do better than uh, normal operation, but it's also to highlight what are the, the gaps in this area and what can be improved here. In this demonstration we have um, uh, four devices. We start with an uh, explosive detection system, then we continue with uh, an X-ray machine for the luggage of the person, and uh, in parallel we have a metal detector and the last uh, system that we use in the configuration is a uh, millimeter wave camera. Normally, all these uh, systems are operated uh, in an isolated mode, and after each of the system, you will have a certain information which is validated by the operator. In this experiment, we combine all this information into, into a single decision point, and uh, at the same time, we combine all the um, um, probabilities that are associated with the decision at the local level. This looks like batteries and a wire, so it could be improvised explosive device because of the combination with organic material. We can't rely totally on technology. We have to have a human factor as well to read the information coming to us and also have alternative capabilities such as uh, bomb dogs and detector dogs that can help and assist with it. So it's not a one-size-fits-all. There's no ultimate solution. It's a combination of factors that seem to be the best uh, way forward uh, in today's environment.